Hey everybody, it's me Angel Benton and it's Friday night and it's a great Friday because A, it's Friday. Fridays are always great. They're wonderful. Uh, even on days that I actually had to work the weekends, I still love Fridays. Uh, but this Friday is great because it's also a payday. Woohoo! So, have you ever seen any of those memes that be like, oh, it's payday and I'm already broke because I paid my bills or something like that. It's really funny. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I brought that up. Um, so today I'm going to be discussing days of our lives. And I've got a lot of talk to talk about this week on days. I'm so excited. But before we go, I, first of all, I want to say that if you have not seen my girl Ariane Zucker on um, Anderson Cooper 360, she put it brilliantly this whole pussy gate, the whole grab them by the pussy comments that were made about her. She says it all so eloquently and I can't put any justice to it. So I'm just going to tell you, watch the clips from Anderson Cooper 360. There's, there are tons of them floating around on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, they're awesome. She's incredible. And I'm just, I am very touched and I love her spirit and I think she's incredible. So kudos to you. All right. Ooh. I'm knocking my alcoholic beverage over. I'm not even tipsy. Okay, so here's the here's the best thing I just found out about days. That there's going to be... Okay, this is the best part, okay? Is that... So, you know, storylines have ebbs and flows. Some people, you know, they're on the front burner for a while, but then they get put on the back burner. I mean, that's just how life goes in terms of story. And one person who I don't know, I mean, I have kind of talked about it because I've talked about her character's Twitter account, which is the best, uh, is Ann Milbauer. I, you don't understand, like, I love me some Ann Milbauer. I, I know that everyone, you know, she's a bitch. That's, that is what makes her the best. I love me a good bitch, right? And the best part about, first of all, she's a hilarious bitch. She is so damn funny. And the Twitter account, you need to look, check out Ann Milbauer. I think it's Ann, at, um, I'm sorry, at Ann Milbauer on Twitter. It's so funny. It's, I mean, it was better when she worked at the hospital because the way she would go off on Jennifer Horton was the best. She would call her Halter Horton. I'm glad someone, I'm glad, um, I'm glad she doesn't have to, uh, I'm glad that we all have, what did she say? She said something about the dress code and how she didn't have to, you know, it must be nice to have your last name be Horton so you don't have to follow the dress code at work. I mean, it's like shit like that. That was hilarious. She would, oh, it was so damn funny. It was really well done. And then her and Teresa kind of came buddy-buddy. And then they were sort of scheming and Lucy and Ethel. And that was great. I love that. But now, you know, Teresa's leaving the show. So I was kind of... Con well, plus, you know, once Teresa left the hospital, actually, and she formed Basic Black or DJ Wear or whatever the fuck she's doing now, you know, that was really bad because how much screen time has Anne gotten since then? Not that much. But apparently she's going to be having a love triangle with Lucas and Adrian. Now, I told my mom this and my mom was like, is this a joke? I'm like, no, I'm serious and I'm happy for her. I think it'd be great. It's about time we get to see some a love interest, you know, because if you think about it, because my mom had, truly hasn't been watching Days of Our Lives that long. She's only been watching, you know, a, you know, a little bit. She hasn't, I've watched it definitely longer than she has. And the thing about Days is that Lucas, way back in the day, like 20 years ago, you know, Lucas was just like Anne. Like, in terms of his personality. I mean, him and Sammy were the schemers. He was scheming to break up Carrie and Austin because he wanted Carrie. And she was scheming to break up Carrie and Austin because she wanted Austin. So they got together and they started, you know, that's how Will was conceived. So it will be nice to see if she brings that element of his personality out. Because it's kind of been dormant for a while. And, you know... He's still, d despite the fact that, you know, he is, you know, all high and mighty now, he's still Kate Roberts' son. Oh, by the way, okay, let's talk about Kate. God damn it. I swear to, oh, well, first of all, that fucking park. 
Jesus, I have seen, I, I thought I had seen the end of those goddamn scenes in the park. I guess not. I guess those are done. I guess they're back. Uh, at least they're, at least I guess I should be grateful that they're not as numerous as they used to be. But, oh, uh, God, I'm so over that goddamn park. Okay, sorry. I'm okay. Kate, what irritates me about Kate, again, this is the second time that this has happened, okay? There is a big e explosion, right? And they, all these people are coming to the hospital, and they're short-staffed, so they have the children, i.e. Claire, Sierra, and Joey, helping out at the hospital. But Kate, who used to be a doctor at that same hospital, is not offering, no one's mentioning anything. I mean, really? That is how she met Bill Horton, who she who was Lucas's father a billion years ago, because they were doctors together. So, I mean, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. That doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't, I don't, I don't, ugh, it dri that drives me crazy. You know that drives me crazy. Okay, what doesn't drive me crazy, or drives me crazy in a good way, I don't know, is um, Chad. Chad did an amazing job this week. His scene where he was telling off Clyde was incredible. This is the first time when I was rooting for Billy Flynn. I'm like, you go, boy. You get that scene. You I mean, he nailed it. He was great. And, uh, you know, I can really say he is he is Chad Demera now. I love me some Casey Diedrich. I will always love me some Casey Diedrich. But, you know, his time has come and gone. And it is now Billy Flynn's time. He owns that part. So, kudos to you, Billy Flynn. Because you really nailed that shit. And even though his character was not long for this, you know, planet. I mean, he's still around. He's still alive. He's just locked up in jail. But it, it was a good scene between between um Clyde and and um chad i mean that was that they, that was good they they were playing off each other very well add in andre to the mix and the good thing about andre is that you know everyone thinks oh well now he's he's reformed he's now this good guy uh i don't know about that i think what makes andre andre is there something wrong with my eyes are they red i have been tired lately it is. A, it has been a long day. I'm sorry. Um. So the thing about Andre is that Andre is very out for himself. So we'll see if he, you know, is like, is really like, uh, reformed or not. I'm. I'm not holding my breath for it. But then again, like, I'm not. I don't. I'm, I just, with Stefano dead, see, this is why I thought it was a good idea to bring Orpheus back. Because with Orpheus, he was the bad guy whose demise at the time that we all thought he died, demise at the time brought about Stefano Demira. And Stefano Demira ruled over Salem with an iron fist for like 30 fucking years, Right. I mean, it's in pretty incredible. Even when the actor went to Bold and the Beautiful for a little while, I mean, Stefano Demir's presence was still felt. And if you think about it, oh, and, and poor Brady. I hope that Teresa doesn't get killed. Because if Teresa gets killed, think of all of the chicks that Brady has loved that have died. Madison, Ariana, Kristen Demira, or at least we think she's dead. I mean, like... If, if Brady were to, like, if I were to go into town and Brady were to like me, I would run, turn around and run like hell. I'd be like, oh, hell no, I'm not dying. Bye, girl, bye. <laughs> you know, Nicole is the only one who's managed to, uh, well, no, Chloe as well. They, but, I mean, so Nicole and Chloe are the only exceptions to the rule. I mean, that's, that's crazy. That's craziness. Um... Anyways, so I've been thinking, so that's Days of Our Lives. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm excited about the future. I can't wait to see this love triangle with Anne Milbauer and Lucas and Adrian. And plus, it'll be good for Adrian to play as well. Uh, plus, I bet you it'll probably be a love quadrangle with Justin and Adrian and Lucas and Anne Milbauer. I, I'm just loving that Anne Milbauer's in the mix. Anything that gives her more screen time, I'm a big fan of. 
So that's it for Days of Our Lives. So feel free to chat at, uh, I'm sorry, hashtag days at me, at Angel Benton. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be discussing Young and the Restless. And uh, I've been thinking about a way, how do I, I, I'm thinking about the same way that I want to close the show every night. And I thought, oh, I could do like Carol, uh, what's, Carol Burnett used to do in that, but that's, that's a little bit before my time. So what I'm going to task you all to do is I'm going to task you all to look up some YouTube clips of a show called Club MTV on MTV from a long time ago, hosted by Downtown Julie Brown. I love both Julie Browns, by the way, both Miss Julie Brown and Downtown Julie Brown. I love them both. But she would always close every show by saying, good night and God bless, wubba, wubba, wubba.